around the entire time. So the tip at the bottom there is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And remember, read, uh, we're going to sing all of it, all right? So ignore the leader and the alt part. We're going to sing through all of that there at the bottom. Both verses. All right? <laughs> doing 
doing math. Yeah, no fun. Right? We find Israel in the same situation. Right? We'll take a reading from the Old Testament, Isaiah. Listen closely. Comfort, comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her. That her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Right? Israel was not in the place that they were supposed to be, right? Just like in summer, we're supposed to be at home, on vacation, having fun, right? Resting from school, right? Israel was supposed to be in the country of Israel have their own little nation. Instead, they were taken over by another country and scattered about. That's not good, right? They're supposed to be in Israel. Instead, they are not. But God says, comfort, comfort my people. What can they have comfort in? They're not where they're supposed to be. Their life's seem bad, ruined. They're not in a good place. But, again, God says comfort. What can they have comfort in? Well, this is the Old Testament. Jesus hasn't come yet. But, there is a promise. The same promise to Adam and Eve, to Abraham, to Moses, to David. There is a promise that a Savior will Come. So God tells his people to have comfort that that Savior will come. Right now we are in the season of Advent. As you can see, everything is blue up here. Right? That means we're in a church season called Advent, to which, for which we are waiting to celebrate what holiday? Christmas. Christmas. Right. Exactly. And the celebration of Christmas is Jesus being born and finally coming. That's what God is telling people to have comfort in. Do we have to wait for the same comfort? Are we waiting for Jesus? No, he's already come. And that's great news for us. All right? We don't have to wait any longer. The Israelites at this time had to wait for another 600 years. Luckily for us, we no longer have to wait, do we? He's here now and comforting us, and we can have that comfort. Let's go back to our school situation. You show up for summer school the first day. They give you a big test. There's somebody next to you. All right, this test has questions on uh, astrology, uh, rocket science, really hard math, Shakespeare. You can't pass this test, all right? They're really, really hard questions. Pretty much no one, in fact, no one can pass the test. As you're taking it, the person next to you is answering all the questions. They're just going through it. They know what they're doing, all right? There's five minutes left. You haven't answered a single one, all right? If you pass this test, you no longer have to go to summer school. You really want to pass the test, but can you? No, you can't. The person next to you takes your paper, answers all of them really quickly, and gives it back to you. You pass the test. That's great, right? You no longer have to go to summer school. That is the exact, not the exact, it is very similar to our relationship with God. Can we save ourselves? No, we can never do the works that we need to to save ourselves. Instead, Jesus did the test for us. And that is where we put our comfort. Israel had to put it in promise, luckily for us. We know the ending, right? Jesus finally comes. And that is our message for today, right? 
comfort in Jesus finally coming. Let us continue with the Apostles' Creed found on, in the back cover of your hymnals. Give you a minute to get there. It is on the top right. The Apostles' Creed. All right. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Suffering the conscious life, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. We've already put our offering up front, so we will move on to the prayers. So please pray with me. Stir up your people, O Lord, and come, that during this season of Advent, our hearts and minds might anticipate your Old Testament promise of the Savior fulfilled. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's uh, recite the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is also found on the back cover of our books. Or if you have the memory, that's great. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life.
Right, they're normal chains. Because I have something in it. Give it to oh, us. Oh, okay, kind of fun. Yeah, they always have kinds of chains. They get in them with this. Oh, okay. That's Oh, for Oh, for Okay, sounds good. I'll take it down. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't. I think we have. Do you think it's a two? Oh, it was about 245. Right, um, right, right, right. Yes, and then my um, kiddos will have to come down at two because they're going to leave with two. Right. So she's going to record it at that one. Okay. So I think she's doing that before so that she can. That's fine. Yeah. I just didn't know, and I want to make sure it was getting done. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. Because I figured on, on the schedule she gets a little bit more iron, I figured I'd do their song. And you would be with two. But I, I, I didn't know you were doing it at two o'clock. So yeah. I will. That'll be fine. And I'll tell kindergarten that I kind of do.